In this episode of Man Cave, we're going to be changing the oil on a motorcycle. Now, why would you want to do your own oil changes? Well, for starters, just because you asked for a premium grade race oil to go into your bike, doesn't mean you actually got a premium grade race oil put in there. In fact, you don't know exactly what went into your bike. So one of the main reasons that I like to do my own maintenance is to know exactly what went in there and just how much TLC um, went into the maintenance. It's also a great opportunity for you to get a little more familiar with how your bike works. Plus, let's face it, it's just plain cool to work on your own bike. All right, it's really simple. Today, I'm gonna to be changing the oil on my motorcycle, which is a Yamaha XSR 900. I'm gonna be using a few simple tools. Here they are. You're gonna need a fresh oil filter. Um, you don't need to change your oil filter every oil change. It's recommended that you change it every other oil change. Um, I'm gonna be changing my filter today, so I'm gonna be needing a new filter. Now, you're also gonna be needing some kind of a tool to remove that filter. I'm gonna be using a strap wrench uh, to pull the old oil filter off. You can improvise, you can use any tool basically, some sort of pipe clamp to, to get a good grip on your um, old oil filter. Now I've actually seen um, some mechanics pull that oil filter off with their bare hands. I'm not that strong, so I'm gonna be needing a tool. Now if you're really stuck, honestly, you can get medieval on your old oil filter, use an old screwdriver and just drive it through the old oil filter and torque it off from there. It is not the best way to do it. It's the best way, in fact, to probably damage the seat of the old oil filter or the oil, the oil filter against your crankcase. Be very careful when you do this. In fact, I don't recommend it. It's not the proper way to do it. But just between us, it really does work. Um, but it's not recommended. Um, you're also gonna need a 17 millimeter socket um, to undo that uh, oil drain bolt. It may be different than your bike, so just make sure you have the right size for that. And you're also going to need some kind of a funnel, depending on the design of your bike, to get the oil into the oil filler hole. So let's go over it. You've got the oil filter, you've got your oils, you've got a socket wrench, you've got a strap wrench or some kind of tool to remove the old oil filter. Shop rag is always a good idea, plus you may want to spread some old newspapers under your bike just to keep things neat. So get your bike up on its center stand. If it doesn't have a center stand, put it up on a rear stand. Let's head out to the garage and get to work. All right, now here we are outside. I've got the bike up on the rear stand. If your bike has a center stand, get it up on that. Now, all bikes are a little different when it comes to servicing. Uh, every bike has its own little quirks. This is a naked bike, so it doesn't have any bodywork or fairing that needs to be removed to access the oil filter and the oil drain bolt, um, which, is, which is pretty ideal. It's one of the easiest bikes that you can actually work on. So I've got the bike up on a rear stand, nice and level. I've actually taken the trouble to run the engine for a couple of minutes just to warm it up, just to get the oil nice and warm and thin so that it runs out of the bike, um, you know, easily, drains out of the bike easily. I've also um, uh, let the bike sit for a couple of minutes so that the oil can actually run back and settle down into the sump. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your 17 millimeter socket for the XSR to 17, and you're gonna undo this oil drain bolt right over here. That's our oil um, draining out. Our oil is draining out of the crankcase. You can see it's dark, it's black, and um, definitely needs a change. All right, now the oil drain bolt is something that you want to pay particular attention to. Uh, make sure you don't lose it. <laughs> make sure you don't lose it for starters. Um, you'll notice that it has a little washer, a little crush washer on there. Now this is very important. Change these little crush washers every time you change your oil. Now you can see the last of the oil is draining out. To help that along, you can actually open the oil filling hole on the other side of the bike. 
right, the oil is drained out, and uh, the next step is to remove the old oil filter. Like I said, I'm going to be using a strap wrench. Um, you can use anything to, to wrench this old um, oil filter off. It doesn't matter if it gets damaged, these are disposable. You're not meant to reuse them, um, so you're meant to just actually uh, throw them out. So here we go. Now bear in mind that the filter is full of oil, so oil will come out. Make sure your uh, catch can is in the right place to catch the uh, excess oil that'll come out of the filter. never going to be completely drained. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out my uh, new oil filter. Now these seals are dry at the moment. You need to use a little bit of the old oil to uh, lubricate the, uh, the o-ring that you have here. You want to get some on the o-ring. So lube that up. And we're just going to spin it on now. Whenever you're threading something, try and turn it counterclockwise at least for one turn so that you get a good seat on the threads and you don't get it cross-threaded. So that is spinning on there. Now we don't need to crank on this, uh, we don't need to crank it down. Um, hand tight is fine, it'll actually tighten up um, with use. I'm just wiping it off so that I can get a pretty good grip on it. use a new crush washer. So, new crush washer going on. Again, this is one of those um, bolts that you don't want to cross thread. So give it a turn counterclockwise, make sure it seats properly, and then hand snug. Battery 17. Snug that up. All right, get it, get it to the point where it's tight, and then just give it a little bit of a nudge so that you can feel that crush washer getting compacted and crushed up against um, the bolt, uh, the uh, oil drain, um, the threaded hole, so that you know you're getting a good seal. If you do have a torque wrench, <laughs> by all means, bust out the torque wrench and use it. Um, 15 to 20 uh, pound feet uh, should be good. Um, you really don't want to over tighten this because you don't want to damage the threads um, on the crank. It's a real pain in the ass to repair. So don't over tighten it. Um, getting it uh, snug is about enough, but if you do have a torque wrench, like I said, go ahead and use it 15 to 20 pound feet. Right about there. Alright, at this point, we're going to move to the other side of the bike and just um, fill her up. Alright, now we're set up on the other side of the bike, the right side of the bike. And this is the oil filler hole which I had previously opened to help uh, aid in the draining of the oil. When we were draining the oil, and it's obviously well, the same, oil, same hole that we're going to be filling the, uh, the bike with oil from. Now, the XSR has a little bit of an awkward design. Um, you know, these covers sort of get in the way. So I um, engineered a funnel with a short length of hose so that it's easier to get the oil into that um, filling hole. Now, if you change the filter, the bike will take a little bit more oil, about 2.7 liters. If you didn't change the filter, a little less, maybe about 2.4. Um, so I'm gonna be putting in um, 2.7. Uh, liters of oil in she goes now this um, oil change is something that you would do every uh, around about 5,000 um, kilometers 5,000 6,000 kilometers um, like I said no need to actually change your oil filter every oil change you change the filter every other oil change uh, but do stay on top of changing the oil on the bike um, it's one of the easiest ways that you can make sure that the bike stays in uh, good condition 
All right, by my estimate, I've got about 2.7 liters in there. Um, letting all that oil drain in. So basically all we need to do now is uh, close up the, uh, the oil filling uh, hole, orifice. I gotta find out what they call this. Um, basically now you just need to reconfirm that you have the correct amount of oil in there. And the best way to do that after you've filled it is to uh, run the bike, if you've changed the filter, run the bike for about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, just to let the oil circulate through and soak into the filter. And then we can check um, on the little sight window that we have down here if we've actually got enough um, oil in there. So I'm gonna fire the bike up. All right, now the bike's been running for about 20, 30 seconds. The oil sort of passed through all the oil passages, soaked through the filter and now um, it's going to be settling back down. You've got the sight window over here, which will help you confirm if you have enough oil in there. So basically, you have to get the bike um, nice and level and then have a quick peek at the, uh, the sight glass or the uh, sight window that you have here. The oil should be uh, right in the middle of this um, and it looks to be about there. So uh, that's basically all there is to it. It's, it's a 15 minute job and everybody should do this themselves. That's all there is to it. I'll see you in the next episode of Man Cave.